you'll notice on the back it has eight plugs. Now that doesn't mean it has eight channels. It has four channels. You have two plugs per channel. You have LEDs on the front down here at the bottom. Those will light up as we use our channels. You notice we have a male and a female connection here for your microplex to enter in through. The 4600 cannot be upgraded to have DMX installed. It is a microplex NSI proprietary only protocol that has 15 volts DC running through from the dimmer pack which will power up a microplex only console. You have your three pin female or male, doesn't matter. For this example we'll have all of our dip switches in the down position ensuring that this will operate as one through four. It's real basic if I would have another unit right next to it we would turn on dip switch number one and it would operate five, six, seven, and eight. Turn on dip switch number two for a third one and it would operate nine through twelve and so on. It operates off of binary ones and zeros on and off. You can figure out the addressing as you go real basic. As you light up particular channels to find out where you're at your LEDs will turn on. Notice when there is no load the LEDs are showing presently. Now there's a fifth LED over to the left which is green. That's letting you know you're getting power. If you're not getting that, then uh, something's up. Check your internal fuse. The, the rear fuse of the five fuses is the power fuse. It is 0 0.3 amps. Other than that, you're going to have four more fuses running through the middle of the board for individual channels. So if one channel is out, that'd be the place to start, uh, the third fuse in. Alright, so eventually what we're going to get around to here is connecting in some microplex from a console. Notice that the LEDs turned off. Now, as we bring up fader number one, which uh, won't bring anything up until we plug in number one, notice that brings on our light. Same thing with two. Pretty sure this is going to be number two. There we go. And we got here number three. And some lights for number four. Excellent. Thank you. So you'll notice that the, if you would once again, LED number one turned on, LED number three turned on, and we can go with two and four, and you'll see the other two turn on as they go. And they actually dim a little. So if you had a channel down at 30%, you'd see that that LED dims just a little. You can turn up another one to full and see how the LEDs are different. So they do actually dim with how dim the light is. That way you can tell from a distance what's going on if you're not positioned too close to the lights. All right. Good stuff. I uh, don't know really what else to say about this unit. Uh, it cannot be updated to have DMX, so you'll never see one of these consoles with 5-pin. You'll pretty much always see this with 3-pin and pretty much always with a uh, Microplex type uh, controller. Um, there may be one other breed out there in the market you can use with this, but that's one of thousands of manufacturers, so uh, good luck uh, using something other than what we found, you know, just NSI. Uh, I do know that uh, the uh, Leviton purchased NSI and they still take these packs in for repair along with the 7000 series consoles.